my grip going? Come on, come on, come on. Fortunately, I missed Olympia, but next year. Next year, 2023. <laughs> Ronnie Coleman, watch out. <laughs> we did a fucking... We had our teammates the other day do one of our leg days. Which is brutal leg we did, we did four guys. Two of them, their immune system crashed. They got strep throat. They've been out for like two weeks. They did a leg day. Two days later, I haven't seen them in two weeks. <laughs> one of them survived. So you do a body build three times a week and then you do... Like three, four times a week, yeah. You just do twice a week. Twice a week. Or twice a day, sorry, twice a day. So two, ses two sessions a day, seven days a week. Or two sessions a day, five days a week. And then one session a day, uh, Saturday and Sunday. And then lifting three or four times a week. How many calories do you burn, bro? A lot. It's impossible for me to put on weight, especially because I can't eat. Yeah, so I'm yeah. just stuck between like 220 and 230. Once I retire, then I'll finally just get jacked. Once I retire, okay. Don't worry. I got up this morning in our time, fucking 5.30, 6. I don't even drink coffee normally, I had a coffee this morning. And I'm, I'm trying these new, uh, the mushrooms. Mm, like, mushrooms? Yeah, like yeah. Uh, lion's mane, cordyceps, you all like the different it? things. Different? I don't feel shit, yeah, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't, smear, I don't feel any smarter. <laughs> I don't feel any more fucking energized. <laughs> that way. Yeah.
and one. Get that. One slow. Two. Yes. Over the top, over the top, pull them up, twist. Twist your body, open your lats out. Give me whatever you got, fast you can. One, two, three, four. Yes! Good job! Easy. Easy. My forearms, that's where all my grip is. I just see we say grip, thumbless. So this is why I use these. It's not because my grip is bad. Look, it's like if I want to grab onto something, thumbless, pull, nothing. What's my forearm gauge? As soon as I use that thumb. For us, everything is these three fingers in ah. Jiu-Jitsu. So it's all about the inside of the forearm. Oh, fuck, so. Yeah. So this is less important, but it's all about activating this. Yeah, but it's still big. Yeah, not bad. Because there are other things we do too, like going in here, and, and you're moving it, but most of the gripping is outside three fingers. Right. So having forearms in your world is fucking pointless. It's not pointless, but it's actually, with the forearms it's easier to slide strangles in, because there's less mass. So you can get chokes easier with the smaller mass of the forearms. If you have huge forearms, it's harder to get underneath yeah. the jaw. Yeah, 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 but for and me it's a bit detriment yeah, yeah. to chalk. Yeah. Would it be an aid in anything? Uh, just overall strength. Yeah, I mean, oh. you can. I mean, it's really more about like positioning and stuff. You can even if you have big arms, you can still get things, uh, uh, hands inside. But uh, like for us, the, for me, I keep my purposely my legs smaller because locking various triangles with the legs right. makes it a lot easier if you have less mass in the legs. Yeah. So for us, it's like it's almost better to have that disproportionate upper and lower body. I've been downsizing my legs by not training them. Yeah, these are not going anywhere. They don't go in anyway. I am, I am training them in 12 years. <laughs> I look at them and I can okay, I look down and I go, well, I, I can see them. But I think it's just because they're, they're on me all day long. They don't mean as much, I guess. What's next for Flex? Getting fat. Not being able to see his dick, but his calves. That's the goal. I realize that uh, I'm not the same guy that I used to be. Uh, Fuck, I got videos. I'm mean, going in the Olympia prep. Uh, six plates here, two plates here. And I, and I go into this, like I know I see this fucking thing. Fuck you. Same mentality as probably when you go into the. No, I'm like. Be nice. Be nice to me. I'm on camera. Give me three weeks. When you come back in town, you'll use this as the base. That's the best tip here. Fucking great set. Good champ. That's it. Here we go. Control. Rip! 
squeeze, control. Every fucking rep like this. Rip, squeeze, control. Good. because it fucking felt heavy. <laughs> I, was I was testing the waters. Test. Bye. Take it up the bar. I can do three next time. I was competing in Jiu-Jitsu last time. Unfortunately, I missed Olympia, but next year. Next year, 2023. Here's your last ride. Grab the bottom of your arms. Grips. One lift up and for your last row. You're gonna roll your shoulders for your last row. So do that. Stand the mat. Stand the mat for this. And for your last row. For your last row. You gotta get your elbow. So this is the fuck you're going to do. So the knees out. And roll your shoulders back. Lift it up. Right now, this is what you're doing. You stand there like this. Yeah, I feel it. That's yeah, cool. and you have to throw. Oh. I'm using my, my thumbs as anchors. Okay. And I'm throwing through. So see that, that gap there? It just gets filled up. It's moving, sm small improvement. But what's going to happen is, you're going to do it. I know. It's going to be like, that's it. And then all of a sudden, you don't. It's like, what the fuck was I doing before? She always tries to tell me how to do it, I can never do it. Do, uh, do my pause. Okay. That's... <laughs> right, then you got embodiment. You got to fall, fall your hand. So, so this is this is the hand you're looking at. So. Okay. Follow the point in hand. What's the starting pose? Yeah, I normally start like because I'm 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 like theatrical. Yeah. So I'm like. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at this. Ronnie Coleman, watch out. <laughs> and also, too, when you do that shot, you don't tension out. Because think, okay. if, I'm, if I'm in the shot like this, yeah. that's it. So, this guy fucking knows. Maybe, uh, this guy knows. Okay. I understand it mechanically, I just can't do it. Hmm. Do a side chest, I know you can do that. Side. So look on, on my mat. Put one, one car. So I'll move. This toe should be like this. Just, just without turning. Face Close to Right. Perfect. Now, with the same mentality, chest so, when you're rolling your shoulder blade back, which I know you fucking hate it, right? And your elbow is going to come back. So we'll do it together. Not for, hey, that's <laughs> fucking not bad for the first fucking time. Yeah, yeah, yeah keep going, keep going. Keep, keep up, keep up. That there, look. Now move your hand slightly up, up more. So you're, you're gripping your hand like this. Yeah. And you're throwing yourself through. For fucking two 
for two pauses in, that's not bad, let's be honest. Nah, rough, man. I want to see you do it. This is guys' pose. This is not? Yeah. Show me what you're doing. <laughs> I, I, I want to see it. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> no problem. She's, she's like, like, oh no. She's like, no. ask me again. I'll she, get naked. She's like, wow. no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Woo! curve it by doing like 18 to 24 hour fasts yeah. beforehand, but still like every, like the warm up, I had to do a good warm up that would get be perfect, yeah. and then like a couple couple matches were worse than others, yeah. um, but uh, I mean all of them were awful. Like I did an ATCC analysis breakdown where I had a one guy I was wrestling him, and uh, I was tying him out of the wrestling, I should have kept wrestling him. And I'm doing the breakdown, I'm like, yeah, but I set to guard before points, because after points are initiated, you can't sit down, otherwise you lose a point. Okay. I was like, I should have kept wrestling him, I would have finished him, but I was so nauseous that I had to fucking sit down and recover wow. for, the, for the other five minute overtime before I could do anything else. Have you ever come close to throwing up? Um, in competition? In, in, um, in, a, sh in a competition, yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah, there was a couple times. Like where I was doing like post-fight interviews, and I'm like, come on, man, just 30 more seconds. Like, hold it together, just sipping water, trying to... That's so well. <laughs> like I remember being at the backstage, same thing, acid reflux out the ass. And then, and nerves, yeah, and nerves, make it worse. which, like, I, I don't know why I'm nervous. I've done the work. I'd be nervous. But still, which competition, is, there's always some yeah. nerves. Yeah, th yeah, exactly. But the nerves would be, the nerves would like trigger something Or else. exacerbate, yeah. yeah. Joke. Take this off you. But take the angle like this. That's it. Keep squeezing.
double tation. Alright, so as you guys know, I've had six weeks, six weeks off the gym minus two or three training sessions. In fact, one of the three training sessions I had during that time off, I trained with this guy. So, let's go and hit me up, said he's coming into town, going through a training session as this is the beginning of the transformation. I said, fuck yeah. So. Gordon's kicking my ass and Sonny is kicking both of our asses. <laughs> we just, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that her edited sets are a lot less than ours. <laughs> right, that's the deal. I'm just trying to keep up. This fucking guy, he's kicking my the, ass. The, best, the worst is shoulders because like everything overhead, my shoulders are not flexible enough to do. So like flex is just like warming up with all of our eventual maxes. I'm just kidding, I'm just so pathetic. <laughs> yeah, but today, I paid the price for training with Gordon Ryan last time because my shoulders were fucked for about a week yeah. after that. I went from nothing to something and something wasn't good. So today I said to myself, listening to my body, we're not doing anything crazy. Um, these guys are obviously in town. They've got a lot of cool business stuff that they're involved here. Um, I'm not going to say their business, but it's big stuff. Very excited for them. And every time they come in town, we're going to try to get a workout in, right? Uh, both these guys, Love bodybuilding training, that's all they that's all you do, right? Pretty much. And Sonny used to compete. Stretching. Yeah, sorry. And this guy is a bodybuilder. <laughs> he's just he doing is. a different sport. Yeah. <laughs> he's just yeah. doing a different sport. He, he wakes up every day like, I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, man, what's the hardest part of your job? I'm like eating food. <laughs> if I could just eat food, I'd be okay. Who does that sound like? <laughs> you. Yeah. Um, and uh, I just found out also that Sonny when she was competing, com trained with one of the best coaches and one of the most craziest hardcore coaches in the country, in the world, Oscar Arden, who has trained Kai Green, uh, Akeem Williams, um, who else? Dom Cardone, Evan, Evan Santapani, etc., etc., etc. And I literally just found out that she used to train with him. And uh, that's when you, you won your. That would, I won, that yeah. Yeah, he made me a pro. Yeah, when she won the Arnold Classic, so, you know, so here's where her mindset comes from. And unfortunately for Gordon. Not many people know, I even, I, I lived with Oscar Arden for two months in his house. Really? So not just the workouts, but the mindset in the house and everything, preparing the food and everything. It was a life-changing experience. Okay, as you know, I'm a big mindset guy. Yeah. How did that two months change your mindset? No, it's, it, you change it for a, you just transform yourself in a different human being. You see things in a different perspective. Yeah. You see food in a different way. You see rest in a different way. You know, even just stay in a room. We practice that. We stay in a room with his family in a quiet silence, just with your own thoughts, just wow. thinking about what you're going to do next. It yeah. was just like, you know, to adapt, everything to adapt is weird. And it's like, what the fuck I'm doing? Yeah. But then when you get into it and you understand, and you're like, holy shit, this is amazing. Yeah. How, how much of that have you transitioned into his, in his lifestyle? Everything I get, everything I know. He tries to. I try, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, uh, you know, when you are a perfectionist and very good at what you are, it's very hard for you to obtain new information because yeah. you already, you know, he's doing his thing. Yeah. But uh, if I can incorporate little by little yeah. and he can absorb a little bit, it's it's a win. Just like me in, in jiu-jitsu, you know, if I can absorb a little bit, it, it's a win for everybody. Yeah. So it's good. You cannot like tell something to someone and say like, do this. It, it's more important that the person understand what you're trying to say and absorb and bring into their own personality, you know, and, and your own daily basis so then it's it's more valuable i also think a lot of people have to live yeah. that life yeah. starting to you can say like your point like you can go to a seminar like i could come and watch you guys in a seminar and be like shit i'm going to take that back to my my gym right or that lesson i'm gonna teach my training partner when i roll next whatever it is but you truly have to be around savages in my eyes like iron sharpens iron right you know you could be you could be the best at you, what you do, 
and in, in you know in in this gym I could walk around with the titles but that's one of the reasons why I brought people in for camp yeah. because I was like you've got something that I don't yes, I and I got something you don't so we all become better and that's I think the mindset it's not like do as I say not as I do because I'm I'm learning from you guys now yeah. as much as you're learning from me right oh and you're in my world so imagine if I went to your world how much I would yeah. absorb and yeah. I do the same thing too like in February I'm supposed to be training with David Taylor He's, he just won the Olympics in wrestling yeah you know, I'm always trying to find guys that can help uh, kind of cover the deficiencies or the holes in my game. Um, so it's always bringing in outside people that you can't get in the gym that you're with. So same thing, yeah. same thing for us. And it just makes you a better overall. Like, I mean, there's no higher accolades you've already achieved in this sport. Yeah. But you're still trying to achieve your own standard. Yeah, trying to break your own records. Yeah. But there's always room to learn something else. Always. Remember when I did that the shoulder workout like a month ago? Yeah. And it's only like, Sunny, do you know this exercise? A lot of people are like, yeah, I know. I'm like, I have no idea. Teach me, I want to know, I want to learn. You know, there's yeah. so much you don't know. And yeah. It's just, it's, it's, the best was the pec deck. Yeah. All the YouTube comments like, what the fuck are these guys doing? They know what they're doing. I'm just like, oh my god, okay, okay. It just blows my mind. <laughs> I read this, I go, what are they doing on this fucking... That's what separates them yeah. to those like, oh, really show me, let yeah. me see. That's what separates, that's good. It's good to have people like that. I also read, uh, oh, half reps. I was like, okay, you come to my gym and I'll put you under the half reps on fucking one plate. Yeah. <laughs> Last reps left, fast reps. Woohoo! Good, brother. Good. Yes. Good. Good. Just like, even with like, I don't really train like you, but like, when you go to make connections, everyone grabs here. But when you grab the outside fingers, it gives you a much better ability to grip. So like, the connection is always split between the index finger and the thumb. But if you focus on using a false grip and grabbing with the pinky first, it gives you the ability to make a much stronger grip. That's a very, very good fucking, see? This is when you train with the best of the best. If you see gymnasts do their ring work, it always starts with false grips. With that 90 degree bend, so when you grab, it starts with the pinky, and it comes, you come into this position. So you start by opening the pinky, and then rolling everything in. That gives you the ability to put stronger grips in. That's a great tip. The, uh, are we 
done now. I'm not. Yeah, I'm done. I'm not. Right. I, I, I want to finish off because I'm pissed. Otherwise, I will be able to sleep tonight. Here we go. All out. What do we uh what do we drop to? 140 or 100. 100. Come on. Let's see. Let's see. There you go. Finish strong. Let's go. Yeah. See my grip going? Come on, come on, come on. I was doing the gone Ryan grip too. It was terrible. <laughs> Take some time. The whole thing is to roll the pinkies in first when you grip. I just roll these. Yeah. It's like if you, if you grab, you get, you get some strength here, but if we rotate it in first, the strongest connection you can make, one of the strongest connections you can make in the human body is elbow to hip. So when you roll the pinkies, it gives you that elbow to hip dynamic. See this is, see this is something I've suffered all my life with this grip, hence why these. And I come from a gymnastic background and nobody ever told me this. Yeah. Like here, you have the issue of the, this connection where it slips yeah. and it's just these two fingers. And here, I mean, you have to do exercises like this too. When you're doing stuff like this, it's always, I grip from the outside first and I rotate it in. So now when I go, it gives you that elbow. So is, is, does, connection. does your thumb have grip on that too or is it floating? It just floats around. You okay. Can get, you can go here, yeah. you can go here. I usually, for these, for these grips I go here. And that's, and then obviously you do stuff like this too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it all starts at the pinky. T turn turn your, your fingers around when you pull. So I want to see where your blood supply is. Okay, so, so the, the outside three fingers. Yeah. So this finger is kind yeah. of just a support, but it starts with the pinky. One, two, three. And that, see that? That goes back to exactly what we were saying over there. Train with the best, learn from the best. Different, different sports, different theories. Same mentality to get better. All right, guys, that concludes a back of you and the Dragons there with the Gordon himself, Don Ryan, and his better half, Sunny, which is out the shot. Uh, there she is. So we just done a little bit of a, I would say, my entry point back workout. I got to see exactly where I fare, and I'm excited now to build from this. This is the foundation, and of course, nothing better than to get the mindset you're in the gym from both champions. So. For me, you know, obviously I'm, I'm starting uh, this uh, new challenge and uh, what a great and coincidence <laughs> that this guy hits me up and say, hey, I want to get my ass kicked today on a back, back hooker. I don't know if I kicked his ass, he made have kick my ass. Well, he did kick my ass. Both he, these guys did. He was complaining, he was, he was mad at the end because he wasn't doing the weight he wanted to. I'm like, bro, you've been doing twice as much weight as me the whole workout. Of course you're going to be tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys know what it is, I think, with the mentality that I... I've had for my career. I can't transition that now into weight because I have to separate myself from that champion that I was and still am mentally, but then physically, I'm not gonna be throwing on them weights anymore. But I'm enjoying myself now doing different things. Again, training for the best to do it. And then we're gonna have um, a couple of workouts planned in the future. And I'm excited to see what this guy's got planned. I know he's up to big things and this is why he's here in Vegas. I'm not gonna talk about it. You don't have to talk about it but I'm excited to see what's just coming down the pipeline, my friend. Should I'm excited. Fun. All right, guys, if there's anything you want to see in the future, comment below and also tell us when we get in the gym next, what you guys and girls want to see. That's it. Back day. Flex Lewis. Gone Ryan. Oops.